Hey guys, my name is Christina Webby and I'm a portrait photographer here in Laguna Beach. I have an arsenal of props and wardrobe in my studio and I get asked all the time where I get my props from. I buy them everywhere. I buy them on eBay, Amazon, discount stores, Nordstrom, even antique stores like some obscure website in Thailand, anywhere. Sometimes we need a kick-ass piece of prop that's timeless and you never know where you're gonna get it. Sometimes I, I see something that my friend has and I, I ask them to use, to use and shoot with it and they're usually okay with it. So you gotta keep an open mind when you see something that's very attractive for you to photograph. And I usually buy the prop and then I build a photo shoot around it and then I buy like a million other prop. But I usually, for the most part, I use one main prop that pops, especially for glamour photo shoots because it's about the character. And I like elegance and I like my client to be the center of attention. It has to be my client and not a piece of anything. The prop had to complement the client and the photo and it shouldn't be really about the prop itself. Your prop can be a tiara or a flower or a piece of jewelry and I'm not a fan of too much jewelry in a photo shoot. For example, if you're using a long necklace, then I go for stud earrings. And if we're using a long substantial earrings, I opt for using no necklace at all. Why? Because again, your client or your model has to be the center of attention and not the prop or the accessory itself. If we're using a hat, we opt to have less cloth around the decollete and the shoulders. Even with makeup, if we're going for an epic lip makeup, the eyes are softer and not smoky. And if we went for dramatic eyes, the lips are nude with a gloss only. So this video is for you to see what we do with a couple props that I have purchased. Uh, a few months ago, I shot this video in Chicago and now I'm getting to editing it. Welcome to moving. And at that time, I have bought a couple party backdrop for a party that I threw at the studio before I leave. And I loved how this background looked when it's out of focus. It was super cheap, like 999, literally. And I used them with the right aperture to get fantastic bokeh and a little pop of a lot of pop of color. Can't wait to show you. Most of my art is timeless, but sometimes I, I need more contemporary modern look depending on the age and the profession of your client. So don't be afraid to play. If it doesn't work, just throw it away. You have other ones to, to, to show off, right? I usually play with models and then I execute a proven method with my actual clients. Most of the ladies I film here at the studio or in my Chicago studio, they're either my friends or models that usually become friends. And I had two sets. The first one is the backdrop and the other set, I, I added a little papillon or a little butterfly with rhinestone belt. It added a lot of elegance and we didn't need anything really, we didn't need anything to go with it. So we just used a dangling earring and note that we have not used any accessories like no rings or bracelet and why? Because it's not the 90s, babe, right? And hey, you guys, if you like my style, leave me a note and let me know what you like about it. Here's the papillon or the rhinestone butterfly that we used with her dress. That's all you need. Just that little butterfly adds so much elegance to the photo shoot. Look at the earrings. They're black metal and rhinestones. Doesn't take too much from her. It's not cheap looking. It, uh, it, th this is a time lapse of this set. The next set is a regular video. We did the cover girl kind of look with the flying hair. Danny took care of the wind machine, uh, which is a little fan we have at the studio. And uh, that's what we did. I, I went up a little bit, took a higher angle shot, wanted a little bit of shoulders. I love Christina's shoulder. Her name is Christina, by the way. And uh, this is what we get. We didn't even get the belt in here, but still a fantastic, elegant shot of her. So in this shot, you'll just see how we flip backgrounds. I just, I, I connected this background to my ceiling in Chicago. Hey everybody, we have Christina in here and uh, we're Christina Welke and Christina Webby. We're using natural light to light her face. Like what I'm, what's lighting my face is natural light. I'm gonna turn the camera to show you the video uh, of the window. This is our window, this is the studio window. Uh, it's just a huge wall window and uh, we use it to light 
um, everybody's face when we want to fill the shadows. And um, what, what's on the background, we just have Westcott Flex Lighting on the background to give it that a little bit extra pop. Okay, step forward, step forward, step forward, step forward, that's it. Wow. So let me take a test shot and with the test shot I can see that the gold is too much changing our uh, the color of the light to a little bit more of gold so I need to adjust the color of the oh this beautiful of the light so for white balance we have the expo disc and how we I'm shooting on a Z7 camera and I literally go um, it's touch menu and I go to the preset and I measure the mode then I click OK and I measure the mode and click the eye again and the data acquired, the, I corrected the color of the light so it's not yellow anymore. Here we go, Missy. Let's do, let's give, pop this hip to the side. Beautiful. Let your hand go behind your hip a little bit. Relax it, relax it, relax it, relax it. Here you go. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me see your hand here a little bit. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Love it. Put your one leg up. Just, okay, no, put it down. This is where, now just bring your forehead forward a little bit. So shake your shoulders. Then can you help us with that fancy part? Let me start with this shot and I want to go on a stool. Oh my God. Okay, look at the fierce look. You guys, this was the first shot I took of her. Are you kidding me? The lighting is fantastic. It's straight on, nose to the light, fills in all the shadows. There's a light on the backdrop. I'm shooting with a wide aperture at 1.4 and we had a light or two lights going on the background. They're just LED flex lights just to light the background for a little bit of spectacular pop. I've shot with Christina before, so I know her looks. I know her ca capability of bringing a lot of emotion into her face and through her eyes. And uh, that's what we got here. Let's do a side look from the side. Yes, yes, there. Just like hug yourself a little bit. Beautiful. Lean forward like, the, yeah, relax your shoulders down. Arch your back down. Okay, beautiful. This is it. This is a beautiful complimenting photo to the series that we have been shooting with Christina. And again, wide aperture at 1.4 with gorgeous bokeh. So Danny stays with us on set and she corrects anything that seems to be corrected, which is a, a great help when you don't have to do something in Photoshop. You can just like correct it on set. Um, I'm, I'm going to get to get your hands. Just get your elbow in. Elbows in your hands up like this. Elbow in. And beautiful. Your, your hands are not in the shot. This is your shoulder. I want you to look like you're standing or you're not. This is a... I want you to defend like your point of view when somebody is really attacking. Like somebody is telling you like, hey, redheads are like everywhere. And like, it's like your hair color is not natural. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One of the ways I get emotions out of my clients is I present scenarios to them and the scenario worked with her. Look at this fierce look. You see that look? Did you see that look? <laughs> I want to show you this. <laughs> I'm going to get the right yeah, action. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. This is a great look at this. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Look at this. 
Look at this look. This is beautiful. <laughs> okay, we're done with this. Bye.